Hi guys, post editing Bobby here. Uh, hopefully you guys don't mind the longer video here. And if I did miss anything, or if you guys have any questions regarding the 5080, um, please feel free to comment down below. But if you are here specifically for only the benchmarks, uh, that will start at seven minutes and 33 seconds. So besides that, hopefully you enjoy the video. Hi guys, welcome back to another Bobby. <laughs> welcome back to another Bobby FPS video. Um, as you can probably tell, we are doing a very first GPU review. Um, anyway, as you guys can probably tell in the title, we're doing a 5080 PNY Paris to New York. In, in case you're curious what that st stands for, uh, a 5080 overclocked review. Um, so I actually got this card shy of three weeks ago and I've been using it and... Uh, was able most importantly to get it for msrp i got it for 1070 through micro center so it was a thousand usd in case you are not watching from the united states uh i was able to get this card and it's been a huge upgrade from the third the msi 3080 i used to have but it was still that 3080 was good man i was still getting like anywhere from 80 to 100 frames depending on what game it was on a 4k monitor right here so uh, i was still very pleased but then one day i just went in and i was able to snag this card for a thousand bucks so i figured you know why not so i've been using it and testing it for shy of three weeks and i'm very impressed uh basically before i do get into video there's gonna be benchmarks for cyberpunk 20 2077 and then red dead 2 um with a little bit of graphs and stuff information like that um but basically we're just going to talk about price availability and what i think about it uh it is very hard to get your hands on this card to be quite honest uh i do see the 5080 stock getting a little bit better but the 5090s have been still pretty hard to get especially with the new tariffs coming in april 7th and the recording of today is april 6th so monday the new tariffs against Taiwan, Taiwan and China. I believe Taiwan is 35% tariff with uh, aluminum. And then it's 50% through China, uh, just depending on computer parts and stuff like that. Um, maybe I will find a graph and put that in here or just all the tariffs and happening. So basically, PNY, I believe, is the only GPU manufacturer that is still in the states so they will not be raising their prices that much uh because they do not have to pay a tariff while other ones like msi asus uh i believe in gigabyte are all made in obviously different parts of the country countries i should say and so they are entitled to and obligated to well we the consumer pay for that tariff uh at the final price but just to you know so you guys are aware that we are paying for the tariffs so basically what was happening last week is just to kind of be able to get a 5090 just pay for it because with the tariffs that are hitting monday tomorrow uh, whenever this video does get uploaded uh gpus 5090s will be be a price of a used uh, honda accord or used honda civic anywhere from four to five grand i mean i've seen the asus 5090s uh msrp for 33 but they've sold for f four grand and i've seen the asus uh water cooled ones or liquid cooled for i believe micro center had them for 3750 plus sales tax is close to 4200 dollars. so you could buy your kid a used beater car for 4200 bucks but instead we're spending that money on a 5090 so kind of crazy to think about all that but anyway let's jump in and talk about the 5080 okay so i do actually have some things to read here so just talking about cyberpunk and i'll put like a chart and stuff uh or make a little graph but just for cyberpunk because i thought this one was the most interesting and maybe i will cut and do the uh, red dead 2 i want to do the benchmarks but with using cyberpunk on high i averaged around you know after that benchmark i got 60 celsius with 270 watts pulled uh for ultra i actually somehow got 58 um and 315 watts 
I was being pulled and then with ray chase ray tracing I pulled 61 uh, Celsius with 305 watts and I do have to say I think my room is close to 70 degrees Uh, my room is about 70 degrees, so 21 Celsius uh, if you're European. So pretty average room temperature. And I will say just temp wise, the 5080 compared to my 3080 have been night and day difference. Uh, idle wise as well, the 5080 idled between 30 to 33 Celsius, just idling uh, stock. Uh, I've turned up I've pushed some of the stuff in MSI Afterburner and I've turned the fan speed up to 45%. And uh, let me just show you guys what you hear. I'm gonna put the mic right to my computer at 45% fan speed and you won't be able to hear anything. Okay, I don't know if you heard anything. I guess I'll tell after post, but uh, it is very quiet. Uh, there is no coil line, coil line, excuse me. And I've been really happy with the card. I mean, it does start spinning a little bit faster, obviously under heavy load, but it does a very great job of staying cool. So um, anyway, speaking about idle temperature, the 5080 does a really great job staying cool on idle and even in performance and, or excuse me, when you're gaming. Uh, when I was gaming, the highest I peaked to was 62 Celsius, which uh, coming through, coming from a 3080, I was averaging anywhere from 75 to 78 Celsius under load. So uh, if you think about that, that is about 15 Celsius cooler. And uh, especially with summer around the corner here, um, it's something really, something I could really appreciate, especially with that I play in a little bit of a bigger room now. Uh, it won't get as hot, thankfully. So been such a huge upgrade. So um besides that let's kind of just get into the benchmarks and the testing and uh if you do enjoy the video consider subscribing sharing liking uh, a little bit different type of video it's obviously a little bit more techy but uh besides that hope you guys enjoy the video